Today we will learn about the muscular tissue of animals. In our daily lives, we perform different kinds of movements such as speaking, walking, running, etc. Can you tell which tissue triggers the movement of various organs of our body? Think, think. Right, muscular tissue triggers the movement of various organs of our body. Let us understand by an activity how muscle tissue triggers the movement of various organs of our body. For this, first you fold your hand from an elbow. Now observe the top and bottom muscles. After this, straighten the arm and once again Observe the muscles. We can see that in both cases the muscles are contracted and relaxed, due to which there are hand movements. The muscle tissue is made up of long cells. These cells are called muscle fibers. Muscles contain a special type of protein, which is called contractile protein. This protein is contracted and relaxes, causing movement of organs. On the basis of movement performed by the muscular tissue and its structure, it is classified into striated muscle, smooth muscle and cardiac muscle. We can move our hands, feet, neck-like organs as per our wish. This means that the muscle present in the organs like hand, feet, neck moves according to our wish. The muscle that moves according to our will is called voluntary muscle. When this muscle is observed with the help of microscope, then in this muscle alternate bands of dark and light colors are observed. That's why it is also called striated muscles. The cells of this muscle are long, cylindrical, unbranched, and many nuclei are present in it. Hence, these cells are multinucleate. This muscle is usually associated with bones. Therefore, it is also called skeletal muscle, due to which this muscle helps in the body movements and maintains the posture and position of the body. Thus, the flow of food in our alimentary canal and contraction and relaxation of blood vessels happen as per our wish? Definitely, your answer will be no. That is, the movement of muscles present in the alimentary canal and blood vessels is not under our control. The muscle which does not move according to our will, that is, whose movement is not under our control, is called involuntary muscle. When this muscle is observed with the help of microscope, then in this muscle, alternate bands of dark and light colors are not observed. Therefore, it is also called non striated muscle. This muscle is smooth, so it is also called smooth muscles. Cells of this muscle are long, unbranched and uninucleate and their terminal end is pointed, that is spindle shape. This muscle is also present in the iris of the eye, bronchi of the lung and ureter. In our body, the heart beats continuously. Muscles present in the heart contracts and relax rhythmically throughout life due to which the heart is able to pump blood. The movement of the muscle present in heart is not under our control. Therefore, it is an involuntary muscle. Since this involuntary muscle is present in the heart, therefore, it is called cardiac muscle. When this muscle is observed with the help of microscope, then in this muscle, alternate bands of dark and light colors are observed. The cells of this muscle are cylindrical, branched and uninucleate.
So now, can you tell what kind of muscle is present in the diaphragm, present below the lungs? Find out the answer. So today we have learned about the muscular tissue of animals. Thank you.